I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes. Ike's very scary in the air, Inkling's very scary in the ground. It's my favorite canon matchup from the Splatoon universe. <laughs> I, I really like the uh, part of Splatoon 2 where uh, the Octolings make a pure replica of Ike uh, to fight the Inklings. Absolutely. That, was, that was incredible. Yeah, see? Opt in to uh, stay on the ground here. Just use Inklings. Look at that initial dash. Just spray him a little bit. Yeah, see, one of the nice things about Inkling for, uh, against Ike is just you have the speed advantage here. So you don't have to take uh, fights that you don't like. So anytime you feel like, eh, I don't really want to fight Ike here, you just go away. But you don't get to go away when you're uh, advancing towards him there. And the uh, super armor on that up here, you're going to be able to get uh, Inkling hit there. Ooh, ooh, trying to call out the... Uh, it's a really good mix-up on block. I think uh, jab mix-ups in general are really interesting to see. A little low on ink here. That's okay. Just back. Just pepper him a little bit. Give that rapid jab. And Ike is completely covered here, so hits are going to be a lot stronger. Does it affect knockback? Yes, because ah. you are doing more damage, your knockback is effective. Ah, so it, the game applies knockback after damage? Yes. Very cool. This is why uh, you can actually kill uh, Shulk with Buster a little bit earlier, because you're, you're actually doing more damage to him. Darkholm is surviving. Inkling kind of lagging in the kill department, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you oh. have your up throw up air confirmed, but like once your opponent gets past a certain percentage, uh, you're only going to be killing with... <gasps> going for the down air, poking below ledge. Dubo's with the lead of the, his life and just letting it all go. And now Darkholm allowed to do whatever he wants. Getting this edge guard. Oh, and excellent stuff. Darkholm dropping shield, and now Dubos is back to neutral. Full ink, 50%. Uh, Definitely trying to apply that ink right now. Oh. Yeah. I mean, if we see a repeat of what happened before, I mean, it was just uh, Dubos was in full control over neutral, and then all of a sudden you see uh, Ike just win an advantage state one time and you die for it. But this gives uh, okay, Inkling another opportunity to hit or confirms. You know, maybe you miss it one time, uh, but will you miss it twice? Dubos, being the skill level that, you know, he is, he's definitely going to know how to hit it. Yeah. But uh, Darkholm got those confirms down pat, too. Yeah, that's, that's the really hard part about it here. Like, while you do have the speed control as Inkling, you have to realize that Ike has these solid confirms that will just kill you once you hit a certain percentage, and you have to be so aware of that. Absolutely. His Nerial just tumbling into imagination. This is very scary. Ooh, being put up Legend of Us, can we get through with that fair? Damage after damage. Wow. Up. That up air is connecting. Incredible stuff. Early, early stock. Dubos starting off with a really, really good lead, but I kind of falls in that category where he's heavy enough and small enough to where killing him is going to be very, very difficult. So Dubos definitely needs to think about how am I going to get these kills? How am I going to win the interaction? And Darkholm has to come up with counterplay to that. Now, the way Inkling typically gets kills against uh, characters like this is through the offstage pressure. Uh, back air is insanely hard for a lot of characters to deal with. Uh, fair is insanely hard for a lot of characters to deal with. But I, you have to be somewhat uh, managing of that range. And also with the side B, uh, just because of like how far the sword swings out, if you are uh, a little slow on the draw, Ike will beat you out and then just get free neutral win off of that. Cool. Darkholm kind of committing to uh, the up B, trying to snag it. That move is very big. I wouldn't have been surprised if it hit. Yeah, I can really swing it. Yeah, he really throws his sword. Ooh. Not Fully. going for the grab, just oh. wanting the rapid jab. Get, Almost. get more ink. Keep Inks, up that damage. Ink's a cool mechanic. You know, I wish more characters had things like it. We can just, uh, oh, There's the up B, but we don't get the, the strong hits of it. We just get a, a little bit of a peppering there with 6%. Definitely seen this story before. Dubos racking up a very clean lead, but now they need to hold it. I, I love just the, like, I, I don't really want to approach you, Ike, so I'm just going to shoot you. And then going to get a quick uh, three-piece combo there. Getting through there, but you just get set back into the vortex. There's nothing you can do if, if you get the air dodge off. You just get down tilted and then uh, comboed again. It's almost better just to take the hit. Dubo's kind of stuck to the ledge here. Put ourselves back at the ledge after getting through. 
Just dashing back and forth. Yeah, oh, Jingling's incredible dash movement. Ugh. The F smash buried for so long. That move is nerfed, by the way. So hard to call out uh, Inkling for just dashing around. And now Dubos has secured that kill. This gives Dubos all the time in the world to kind of come up with a plan, unless those kill confirms connect. Very wisely from uh, Dubos. Oh, we're going to go to the other side. Very cool. <laughs> Love to oh. see it. Showing off. You I know. felt a little bit too slow to capitalize on it, but you know, Dubos just put themselves at ledge on the other side, so I just hits you anyway. Up being out of the corner. Oh my gosh. Getting that combo. Beautiful. Dark Holmes just climbing his way back to this lead. I, I like the pattern of Dark Holmes' uh, first stock kind of being uh, a, a little mediocre and then just cleaning up with the second and third stocks. Like these are top player stocks right here. Yeah. Oh gosh. Dark Holmes is really like kind of getting a feel for how he wants to play the matchup here. Just wildly not worrying about that roller. Ooh. Okay. Very scary. Going for the up throw. Just jumping away, not even uh, putting yourself in a scenario where you might get pressured with the air dodge. Oh, dash attack, not going to quite do it, but we are at such a huge percentage. Ooh, okay. I, I'm not sure I agree with that da uh, get up attack, but it got you out. There's armor on that move. Oh, I think the armor is only when you're fully charged, so maybe that was actually the, the proper play. Dash attacking, working his way out of the corner. Just shooting a little bit, get, get a little bit of extra percent on. All right, get that ink rolling. These bombs have just not been in there. Excellent actual, actual roller! Game. That's such a good call out on the landing. Dubos just analyzing that situation perfectly. And we were talking about, like, how is Dubos going to finish off these stocks? And it seems like your roller is the answer. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, when all else I, I, I just have to hit you with the sword. That's all, that's all he's looking for. If nobody got me, I know roller got me. Can I get in there? Oh, oh, a little four piece there. 58%. Now you're on the ledge versus Ike. Those rollers are the answer. Now we're in the lead, fully inked up on a Thursday oh, afternoon. We have a double jump. Ugh. That's it. Wow, incredible stuff from Dubos. Just cleaning up that stock, realizing where the ink was, what he, they needed to do to actually get the stock taken, and you know, doing like four different edge guards. Like you said uh, last game, that back air is so difficult to avoid off stage, and Dubos taking your advice. Yeah, like I was a little bit concerned on that last hit because I, I was worried that Ike might get the up the out. However, uh, I think there was just enough end lag on that air dodge. Uh, interestingly enough, like the way air dodge end lag works is like the the spot you use it, you have to fall a certain distance. So if you air dodge vertically, there's more end lag on it technically because you have to fall a certain distance. Absolutely. So uh, because there's just there being so much, Dubos uh, able to really capitalize on that. Pinkie Pie coming in with the insider knowledge. Did you know that Dubos is debatably one of the Inklings in Cincy? Didn't. I didn't realize Dubos was uh, an Inkling. That's crazy. Yeah. Are they That's a cool. kid or a squid? I could ask him about, like, the, how does it work being made of ink? I want to know the anatomy! Excellent! Getting the taunt. the taunt. Flex in a little bit. Ugh. Perfect. Let him know. No JV? Dubos not wanting to be too shaken, just kind of continuing to play as they have. But Darkholm, I, I feel like, has been able to find his way in a lot more than we have in uh, the previous games. Absolutely. Like, these Playing nares so are location. just really coming through here. And he made that uh, one advantage he got just so much more valuable. Like, hit him once and he died. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this combo! Oh. Hey, big damage. This is scary. Tries to go for the this back is the air. down tilt back air. Dark Holm just cleaning up, really showing us that adaptation. Ooh, and that back air. Just flipping. Wow. We are we two stocks. This is leaving his way in, past uh, the splatter shot. Now we're seeing a reverse of this game one. But if I really do see a reverse of this game one, that means Dubos is going to win this. I wouldn't count anybody out. Oh, but I don't know. The way Dark Home is playing right now, he just feels so confident. The movement is just completely in his favor. He doesn't even have to, like, <gasps> just clip him. Ooh, we're living. We're amazing DI. Now you have to deal with Ike off stage. What's the plan, Dubos? What are we doing to get back? All right. Oh. Trying, trying to go to out the there. Back here. Dubos it's, realizing they need to go deep for something now. We have to get these kills here. Like, we cannot be playing against Ike. Every straight hit matters so much. Going for the up air loops, really just trying every trick in the book. Pulling out the experimental strats, uh, strats to make this back. Oh, good DI there. The amount of Avoiding the hops uh, Dark Home is going for. Like, Dubos has to be so scared because if you miss the call, oh, that'll be it. Amazing stuff. 
That's an excellent game three from Dark Home. That's exactly the kind of adaptation we need to see. Yeah, just so strong. Like, you could tell Dark Home was completely understanding like how much pressure he had over Dubas in the situation. 